Okay, so a little quick look at the progress. Zach plumbed in my drain pipe. This is the pipe that will create a siphon and bring water down here to the sump where it gets filtered mechanically and biologically and mechanically and biologically and biologically and mechanically and chemically and then this chamber is going to have my refugium or refugium which basically is a chamber that's going to have phytoplankton and isopods and amphipods and copepods and macroalgae and a light not this light a different light um and those organisms will help clean the water some more and then the pump goes here and it will sit on those silicone pads for so it'll be quiet and then water will come back up it'll be clean it'll come back up and come out of here so what i have going on now with the background is there's some gaps in between the panels but i plan on putting some wood there and i'm also going to be tying some plants to this so a lot of this will be planted you won't see most of this once the tank grows in but what's going on here is i have airline this is just a shut off valve at the end but there's an air stone at the bottom so little bubbles are going to come out of that right well this is a part of my plenum so what happens when air bubbles are coming up it's also bringing water up with it very gently at the bottom of my PVC, I cut out an opening. You might not be able to see it. You can't see it, but it's underneath of this. This is up off the ground or up off the bottom. It's actually a ramp. So it's touching the glass here and then it goes up. I think it's like four or five squares. Um, it's raised, so it's like a ramp. And what that does is it keeps the substrate and the sand and the gravel off of the glass and that allows water flow underneath of the substrate which basically boosts your filtration power it's this is kind of like an under gravel filter but we want this airflow to go very slowly because we don't want too much oxygen down there we want it to be slightly anaerobic and there's this guy on YouTube I watch, uh, Dr. Kevin Novak, he explains anoxic filtration, which is like a mix of aerobic and anaerobic. So it's basically slow moving. moving. So what happens is all of the fish poop goes down into the gravel. And if you don't have any oxygen down there, then um, detrimental bacteria will grow in the gravel and yeah it'll break down the fish poop or whatever but it also causes ammonia spikes and nitrate spikes and a lot of bad chemical stuff which is why you'll see like really really dir dirty um aquarium gravel hold on i'll show you mine okay so here is my aquarium i have now underneath of this layer of sand is actual dirt like organic dirt for the plants um, but if you notice, a lot of my plants are having nutrient deficiencies, which you think, well, that's really weird because there's a large bio load in this tank, like a lot of fish and a lot of uh, shrimp and all sorts of other stuff. Plenty of light. It's in front of a window. Um, so there's a lot of stuff for the plants to eat, but, you know, they're not doing too good. And that's because... A lot of the nutrients are not getting through the gravel and the sand into the dirt to get to the plants. And you can see this black stuff here. That's 
really bad bacteria. So these are anaerobic conditions down here. There's not a lot of oxygen. There's no moving water. It's basically like stagnant down here. I didn't know any of this until recently. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to lift up the substrate and make sure that water can move through the gravel and the sand to bring nutrients to the plants, which will also increase my filtration power and help stabilize pH and nitrates and ammonia and nitrites and all of that sorts of stuff. So traditional under gravel filters would be kind of like this. It wouldn't be like a ramp. It would be more of like a level surface. This is just a DIY one I made myself. Um, and I guess they came out in like the 40s or something and you would hook up a pump, like a powerful pump to it and you would suck a lot of water through it and that's how you would um, filter your tank. And this is a lot of surface area and this whole thing is a filter now, which is great. I don't know why they came out of style, but I guess people just didn't like them or they were old technology or they started coming out with like hang on the back filters or something. So people switched and just started putting their gravel right on the bottom. And a lot of people end up getting really dirty tanks or um, just sick fish and stuff, which I've struggled with. I didn't know, but I've been doing a lot of research on this. And this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna use these bubbles. And this, um, there's a, there's a shutoff valve over there that's adjustable so I can adjust the flow. And I'm gonna make it very slow moving. So it'll be a very light trickle and all the water will get sucked down into the substrate and then um, it will come out of here. So it will, the water will be cycling like this. Hold on. The water will be cycling like this in the tank and feeding my plants and keeping good oxygen underneath of the substrate. And water will also be filtering and cycling like this through my big filtration, my main filtration. So that's how it's gonna work. And I'm thinking, so right here, there's a split. There's a split right there in my panels. Um, I'm gonna attach some wood I got and then all this grid that you see is gonna be plants eventually. And it's gonna hide all of this. And hopefully it looks like actual rocks I mean, I'm not the best spray painter, but hopefully it looks better than just the wallpaper behind. And I put that back there just in case um, the plants don't fill in or whatever, or I want to take this out later. I have something back there because I'm not going to be able to move this 1,800 pound aquarium later on. So that's where we're at. I got to give this 24 hours to cure or to dry. And then I have to glue in some nylon mesh on these so my shrimps and baby fry um, baby fish don't get sucked up into the filter. And also so my copepods and isopods and stuff can't come back into the tank. I haven't decided if I want them to live in the main tank yet or not. But it basically keeps everything that I don't want in the filter in the tank and everything that I don't want in the tank in the filter. So... I gotta still glue that on, but that's where we're at and I'm super excited and it's gonna be awesome.